that will ruin your day on like a pretty regular basis. <laughs> She's a producer here at Clitorary Salon, so we're always excited to have her work. And I like her so much that I wrote not one, but two pipes. Ooh! <laughs> Texas. In fact, the beard had made him more visible than ever. 
It became the focal point of his every move. Not since the tea party had he been so popular. <laughs> Not since the shutdown had he been so passionate, so fiery. Which shutdown? <laughs> this had been the mayor's goal, of course, when it chose a host to do its dark work. It wanted to go out with a bang. <laughs> The beard really did look stately. Ted spent a good bit of time considering it, stroking it thoughtfully. He had been aiming for something a little bit like Abraham Lincoln, or rather like a Republican Al Gore. <laughs> a better Al Gore, really. One that believed in God and not climate witchcraft. <laughs> so beautiful if they were not meant to be decorative vessels containing the blooms of male legacy. Yeah. He liked to practice phrases like that in the mirror, <laughs> storing them in his mind for a future Fox News interview. And Fox News was having him on a lot these days. He was being tapped for a more formal bit at the presidency, depending on how everything went. <laughs> Sean Hannity and his hair seemed to want to be friends. <laughs> He was soaked up the attention like a rag. Sure, he was starting to notice something was a little off. His throat was a little fuzzy. <laughs> but he wrote that off as allergies. He kept tasting shaving cream in the back of his mouth. <laughs> but that might be the cholesterol medication. He couldn't stop eating oranges, so much so that the enamel was starting to wear away at his teeth. But what did dentists know when he had? <laughs> the exhaustion was distress, nothing to be alarmed about. Even the most wacky portions of conspiracy YouTube wouldn't guess that Ted's blood was having a hard time navigating the rapidly narrowing veins as his body or, as his body matted with hair. The beard finished its job at a rally. Ted was in the middle of a moving speech on immigration, preaching about the dignity of his father, who fought tooth and nail for his son to grow up to be a shallow, self-absorbed racist. <laughs> his voice pitched and musical like a misogynistic kazoo. <laughs> The hair that had worked its way through the sponges of his lungs pushed deep until there was no room for air, and Ted Cruz crumpled under the power of his beard like an English manor under ivy. <laughs> <laughs> the autopsy indicated Ted's insides looked like the exterior of a rambutan. <laughs> his extremities fuzzy like a coconut with concentration of hair in the torso and vitals. His throat looked like a kiwi. And the coroner, a poorly educated man who had failed to get into the military, had no idea what was wrong with the former senator. He actually grabbed a clump in the senator's liver, and the roots were too deep he couldn't get it free. The structural integrity of the senator had been compromised. The beard still looked beautiful, though. And when they buried him, it was oiled and trimmed and smelled faintly of rose water. And <coughs> Yeah, Lauren Parker, see. <laughs> <laughs>